Let me know when you can hear me. Yeah, when you when you start a new When you start a new God, it's so annoying that it does that. When you start a new when you start a new live, you have to close your Instagram. Yeah, you have to close your Instagram out or else you have no volume. Okay, let's try this one more time. I got to get some more water. So when I bring you in, Rose, say hi. We'll let everyone join us and then we can really, really get into some serious, some serious business. Water, you say hi to everyone. This should work. I'll be right back. Ah. Rose McGuire, I, I, I am so ready to get so All right. Good. There's so many little things. For some reason, when you do these lives and you end one, you have to close it out to do a new one because it, uh, it, it you lose the volume. It's happening every time. Here, move yourself up a little so we can see your, your face with the writing. Look at this. So you got the eye things on. Got the eye things on. That's one mental health move, just doing something to take care of yourself. Right. You know, I was so intrigued listening to you and Daniel talking about um, just having something actionable you can do, like the lists every day. That just, to me, it's, I'm not a list person, but I'm like a, it, it's so easy to feel right now like there's nothing you can control which there never is, but, but having like some little task that's set in front of you that you can achieve just as, yeah, it just really spoke to me. Yeah, it's crazy. So Dan and I, we worked together years ago. We had talked about mental health stuff because he dealt with anxiety. I've dealt with depression, anxiety, more anxiety, but for like 25 years of my life now, pretty much half. Yeah. And if you guys get a chance, anyone who's watching, my name is Lenny and this is Rose. <laughs> We just did about a half hour chat about it. And Daniel, some of the stuff he's so, some of it was new to me. And uh, uh, when I talked about a week ago, I was feeling really good. I think you and I did a chat. And mm -hmm. Jess and I were like doing breakfast in the morning and take a, hot, a, a long walk with the dog. We would do some stuff in the afternoon, dinner, going to bed not too late, but getting up at a reasonable hour. We've kind of fallen off that a little bit. And immediately I noticed anxiety and mental health stuff starting to kind of creep in. And I found myself a little more down and stuff. And then we went for walks the last two days and meet my energy was different. Isn't it amazing so, using your tools like that? Um, and also so having had, I've had it in my life for a long, long time as well. But like when you start, it, it weather is always the best analogy for me. It's like you can handle the weather as long as you know that the storm is not permanent and that you have tools that you've used before and maybe they're not working today, but you can just get through and, you know, the, I mean, as cliche as it sounds like the clouds parting and, um, and, t and kind of wearing the right thing for the weather or like doing the right steps so that you can enjoy it and making the best of it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think I've had a little bit up and down with this in general. I've been pretty good, but because, I think, and I read this article, which I just read the start of it, and I've been meaning to read the rest, but my garden was calling at the time. Um, but it was talking about how some people are, if you are somebody who has had a lot of fear around the unknown in your life, this hasn't been a great shock to people with the kind of pre-existing conditions like that. Um, so, you know, for everybody who has maybe functioned with a more level mental health experience, to suddenly really not know what's happening over the next few months has been like this drastic shift. Whereas it's something that I have, I, I'm sure I projected it onto the, the wrong things most of my life, but stuff that I haven't been able to predict or control has always given me anxiety and depression. So it wasn't like a huge shift in um, how I see the world, <laughs> but it's more that um, it's more that maybe I've developed skills to cope with this feeling of my whole life and a lot of people haven't had to develop those skills um well not a lot of people but yeah you know, people who haven't experienced that yeah you and i have become suited if you deal with certain things 
And I think our careers kind of do that too, where mm -hmm. um, we have downtime after working a ton and not having a lot of time. So then you check back in. You is that my is it my thing that's making that noise or is it that banging noise? Is that me? I can't hear anything. I hear a mic kind of popping. It shouldn't Maybe be mine. Me. Mine's resting pretty calmly atop a salt shaker. I don't know where my mic is. All right, I'll try not to touch anything. So, oh, it's that. You're not hearing that? Oh, I just heard that. What is that? All right, maybe it's fine. Is it going okay? I, it's not loud for me. It's like maybe like a click. Click. Oh, all right. So, what a pain in the ass. Let me see. If it's not one thing, it's another. Hang on, I'm going to try and maybe change the way my mic is sitting. It might help. I think it might be me. I don't think it's me. Yeah, it's not. Okay. It's made Are it uneven. Good? I think it's not. Okay, so anyways, I've, been ta I've talked to a few people who are actors or, you know, something of that nature, and this kind of change in and time is usually kind of something that we go through when we're not working and you get back, you're gardening and you're spending time with your loved ones and you're kind of in the house and you're kind of checking back in with yourself instead of waking up at six in the morning and your 10 or 12 hour day. So we might've been a little bit more used to it. But now as we get into week, th this is week four, wow. you start hitting different levels of, you know, how am I going to cope with this week? differently than I did the first two weeks. So yeah, it's, I think everyone really has enjoyed your gardening. I, I put out a thing for questions and you said that was helping you. And then yesterday when I was talking about doing this, you said cooking too. So what are the, some of the things over the three weeks, how has it worked for you week one, week two, week three? Um, two things. One is you're so right that it, it does change week to week that um, like, you know, you, you it's, it's easy week one and two, I was feeling like, oh, I'm going to handle this all great. By week three, you know, you have the swell of like, this is the new normal for, and I, I, like you, we don't have much routine in our lives, probably quite a lot anyway, but um, it's actually funnily, this is more routine than I've had in a while. Um, and just kind of, I'm used to not knowing where I might be at the end of the week and knowing that I will be here. There's definitely just like kind of milestones that we're getting our heads around. So I think just being kind to yourself as you, um, adjust to each new kind of phase is good. Uh, also, oh, the things that I've been doing, yeah, gardening, cooking. I I feel like, um, like I was talking about, when there's nothing that you can do on a grand scale, like doing things on a small scale um, that are actionable and that have a result, always have helped me. So, even um, like I cross stitch, I embroider, or I I would be well suited to like mid eighteen hundreds um i like <laughs> like making bread or like um doing things in the garden but it's not they're not kind of things with big grand results normally they're th like i like hanging my own curtains working out how to do it and looking up online and measuring and little projects that you can see a change that you have kind of ma manifested um those things really help me the garden also just hands in the soil like it's just 101 for me um grounds me makes me feel more but like that's actually part of something big uh, yeah when jess and i read eat dirt when mm -hmm. i a year ago i everything came back hard and i started yeah. dealing with horrible panic and anxiety and i couldn't leave the house for a while we read eat dirt we changed my diet and uh going out every day and standing in the grass or the dirt and just yeah. grounding grounding yeah. you're literally yeah you gardening thing that just connected with me too when we talked the other day you're yeah. like you're bringing that into your body and soul. Yeah. Also, some serious. You, when we talked a couple <laughs> of weeks ago, you were like, "I'm a little nervous to show pictures," and then you did post a picture, and it, you look like you have a like a professional guarding situation going on over yeah, there. But now. it's also like it's it's um you know you know your angles. I know my garden's angles like <laughs> like below where you might see like like this. this. How am I looking? Today? Exactly. Not I know there's a lot of MySpace shots going on, um, but. But, 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 no, it is like putting your hands in it. And also, I feel so fortunate that I live somewhere where I can go outside right now and it's like right. moderate weather. And um, 
I think about like that feeling like you're part of the world still and touching the earth and that stuff is really helpful for me. Um, and I think being in an apartment is really tricky. There are lots of things you can get online, like little ba grow your own basil kits um, and things like that. And they'll send you everything so they can be delivered. But I really recommend, you know, they, you can get them for like $10 and. Um, oh, right. So if you're in an apartment. Yeah. If you're in an apartment. Yeah, you get a little windowsill thing and kind of plant some stuff and you can have kind of your, I also find, I never was a plant owner. Mm -hmm. and time when we got married in our house, she put plant, we had plants everywhere. Oh, yeah. And number one, whatever the, the oxygen or the, whatever that plants do, I didn't pay attention in science class, but <laughs> watering them every few days and kind of keeping track. That's D Daniel and I talked about mm. setting your goals or expectations, your expectations obviously are changing this time. Like we're not going to go to the gym, but you can yeah. get up in the morning and lift, you know, you could do some uh, stretching and yoga, yeah. and a lot of virtual classes. So having... yeah, I just ordered a um, child's play mat, like one of those multicolored child's big fold out play mats that um, I've been dragging onto the belt. I haven't really done too much exercise yet, but I got the mat and I got, you know, it's colorful and that's a, um, a start. It's, it was, again, it was a real expectation. If I get the mat, maybe I'll you... spread from it, you know? <laughs> How about the cooking? What are you, are you a good cook? I'm not, again, passionate, um, passionate amateur. Uh, right, I like, right. That's my sort of, my, my speed on most things. But um, I have been making, last night I made kashari, like a, um, my brother makes it really well. It's like a vegetarian Egyptian dish. Um, and it's just, it's, it's a, like a, a lot of little pieces that you put together that can take a whole afternoon of like, frying the onions and crumbing them and leaving all of those ready to go and then making the lentils and get them ready to go and then you add it all together and warm it up in the oven. Right. And it's lots of little pro like steps. It's a process. Um, so again, if you're feeling kind of at the end, like it's cr it basically is creating a list. It's getting a recipe. Um, I'm not a freestyle cook. Never been a strong freestyle cook. I've always been a recipe person. Um, right. What's your, that's what your favorite thing to cook is. If you had to cook your favorite thing right now, Mm. Oh, what am I cooking tonight? I'm trying to remember what I had planned for tonight. I like baking a lot. I like making banana bread. I've made a lot of banana bread lately. Oh, it's so I mean, good. I, I am going to be eating my weight in baked goods these next few weeks. I like bread. I like um, muffins. I love that kind of stuff. So I like making those. I just got a really good recipe for like these walnut um cookies what, what did they have walnut and date cookies that looked really good do you have yeah. any allergies i well gluten i'm trying to do gluten free but i gotta tell you jess's How mom eating i didn't know i mean i knew you guys had revamped some food things in a major way i know that i need to be more mindful about that because yeah. as, as we're talking about it has such a huge impact on um your your overall health but and my gut health has always been questionable these last 10 years. Uh -huh. Just a lot of stomach issues. And Jess, a year ago, was like, uh, like a month in, we had eaten like fat burger and french fries and a milkshake. I woke up the next day. I felt horrible. It was actually April 26th. Mm -hmm. And she's like, that's it. That's fucking it. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, she ordered this book, Eat Dirt Online. We threw out everything else. And we started having like smoothies in the morning. I'll do it, and I still to this day, I, I do blueberries, like f organic blueberries, some kefir, which is for the probiotic. I'll do avocado. I'll do some leap, some fresh spinach, um, some almond milk, and a little bit of like collagen or bone broth powder, mm. I'll, and some walnuts. And I'll drink that up, and it's that's my breakfast. And it also was a little bit of inter intermittent fasting, too, where, you know, yeah. I would eat the middle of the day and then I'd be done eating about seven, eight or nine. Yeah. Not eating late at night. And yeah. for me it worked. And then Daniel and I talked about taking little things out. If if you feel like your stomach is an issue or your gut gut health is directly linked to mental health, mm -hmm. slowly there's a plant paradox or um medical medium or just things like that where you can slowly mm -hmm. start to take things out or add things in. I notice mm -hmm. a difference a difference pretty severely over time. Well, that's so interesting to hear. I, I 